YouTube family, what's happening? It's your boy, Bull City Dasher, and we back with another video. It's Wednesday morning, just cut the app on. Oh yeah, we early, baby, it's six o'clock. We out here while everybody else sleeping, and that's how we got this banger right here. I'm here already, ready to go get this thing picked up. So y'all sit back, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already, and watch. I'll see y'all later. I hope so. I hope so. GPS took me to the emergency room. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all get this order every week, I saw? We do every week, yes. Right here? At 6.30 every week, yep. I hope I see you next week. Right. Y'all have a good one. All right, family, so we got that catering order dropped off. I got back over here as fast as I could because I saw the other catering order still on the counter when I picked up the last one. We didn't get it yet. Um, got this Starbucks order, $5 one mile. Yeah, we'll take that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing picked up, get it knocked out, and I'm gonna try to make my way back over here with the hopes that I still might can get that catering order if it hasn't been picked up already. But uh, so far, so good, man. We're gonna be at $25 in the first half hour. No complaints. Let's get this thing picked up, keep this thing moving. Let's get it. How you doing? Picking up a car? Car? K A R A. It's on the screen. Bruh.
right, thank you, sir. You too. Thank you. Good morning. I'm good. How about you? Good. good. All right, you have a good one. All right, family. I love it when a plan comes together. So we got that other catering order. I'm here, I'm ready to go get this thing picked up. I already know it's ready because I saw it earlier. So let's go get it. Let's get this money. Did they get any cups with this? Did they get any cups with this? Oh, okay. Y'all have a go. y'all so we got that picked up we done made a nice little piece of change this morning before the sun even came out we're gonna go get this thing dropped off and keep it moving you already know it let's get it Okay, I, I got you. Thank you. Hope you feel better.
Oh, it's set And if first floor or ground or uh, first floor. Right, thank you. All right, family. So we got that dropped off. We got another one. Yes, we got another one. Let's go get this thing picked up. This is one that I've done many, many times. I already know. I knew it was going to be here. I knew what time to be here. I know where it's going, I know how the drop off is gonna go, and it's cake. So let's go get it, get it picked up, get it dropped off. And then that might be it for the catering orders for now on DoorDash, but I just got a uh, delivered that catering order for 11 something. So, hey, we putting these catering bags to use today. They have already paid for themselves today alone. So let's go get this thing picked up, man. Keep this thing moving. Let's get it. ready. Easy money. Lynn, Lynn. Okay. <laughs> I found it. I needed the number to call you because that's the one I'm actually supposed to take. I saw that on the uh, yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. And, uh, I called the lady. I was like, yo, I'm sick, so I can't come with my friend coming. So okay. And she was like, what? Well, and you was calling at the same time. Uh -huh. I'm glad you called me. Yeah. Yeah, and the GPS was a little, yeah, GPS was a little trippy, but. Yeah, because what happens is the park is supposed to park right there in the front of the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can get a ticket too. A word. Yeah, but you throw you. Yeah. Normally they won't do that. I try to be in and out like yeah, a while. Exactly. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. I appreciate it, man. Y'all have a good one. Have a go. All right, family. So we got another order. Um, I 
was hoping for another catering order from over here. I got catering order from here last week. It was a monster. But um, it's a high paying offer. It's, it's not going far. So we'll gladly go ahead and get it picked up. It's getting a little warm. It's been cold as I don't know what all week. Today is supposed to be 71. That's North Carolina for you though, man. Our weather is bipolar. But I'm gonna go in here and get this thing picked up. I was already on my way here, so I got this order a little bit earlier than what it's supposed to be ready. But yeah, it's time to go in here and get it picked up. We get it dropped off. Keep this thing moving. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we got another offer. Four dollars, one mile again. Going to Duncan this time. I'm here pulling in. Let's get this thing picked up. They bird feeding me now. They bird feeding me, but that's all right. I'll knock these little one mile orders out. Let's get it. for Andy? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. All right, have a good one. You too, thank you. Done deal. Yes, sir. family so we got that dropped off 
I just checked my uh, Chick-fil-A app. I got some free stuff, man. So I'm gonna go around here and get me a little free breakfast. And uh, I pause the app. Once I get my food, I will uh, I'll unpause the app and we can go from there. But I gotta get over here to this Chick-fil-A, man. I'm hungry. I got free food on the app. Been sitting there for I don't know how long. I can't let that expire. So let's get something to eat real quick and get back at it. We got um, about an hour and a half till we got this catering order to pick up from Carabas. I don't know why on Deliver That. Sometimes it feels like that's all I get is Carabas. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out do the other drivers not want Carabas? Is it? I don't know, man, but they work for me. The Carabas is it's a little bit down the road but the delivery is close by my house, so I don't got no problem with it, man. I just don't, I don't like how they bag it up, but I mean, cause they have to put it in, they put it in boxes. So I never use my catering bags, except for like from silverware and drinks and stuff like that. But the food's always in boxes. That's just how they do it. So I don't like that, but aside from that, man, the orders be pretty easy. They, the, the setups be, easy so but yeah nobody seems to want the Carabas delivered that orders but I'll take them but let's get something to eat real quick before breakfast is over at Chick-fil-A and then uh, we'll get us a couple more door dashes before it's time for the catering order let's get it alright family so we got this um, catering order here we here now to get it picked up I'm about five minutes early, but I'm gonna go in and try to get it because I'm ready to get uh, get it done with and uh, get onto this lunch shift for DoorDash. Try to get some more catering orders during lunch. We gotta be early, so I'm gonna try to be done with this right on time that it's supposed to be done. And the best way to do that is to get it picked up on time. Let them know that I'm here Sometimes it's a wait, sometimes it's ready. So you really just, it's really just a shot in the dark. Hopefully today is ready. But nonetheless, we're here. So let's go get this thing picked up. Let's get this money. Catering order to pick up? Um, yeah. Is everything? Mario Vaccaro? Thank y'all. Oh, I need a signature.
Easy money, man. Easy money. So I'm gonna wait till, like I said, till 12 o'clock to start DoorDash back up. And then I'm gonna do a lunch shift. Go well, probably from about 12 to 1.30, not too much. And we're gonna jump back on it later on tonight for dinner. And we should have a pretty solid uh, total for the day. The breakfast shift really got us started on the right foot. This is a, this is a given, that's, that's, it's always good to have one of these. So yeah, got about 20 minutes get back at it let's get this money Twelve seventeen. so yeah I went like 17 minutes without an order so the map wasn't lit up it's not really busy right now but that's still a long time to go for lunch I probably should have went downtown but I was closer here so this is where I went but uh, the pizza place is more downtown. So after I drop it off, hopefully I'm not too late. I can still get something decent. But let's get this thing picked up and uh, try to make us some money during lunchtime before we call it quits. Cause yeah, I'm gonna quit at like 1, 1.30 for a little while so that I have a, enough uh, motivation to go for dinner time. Because if I just keep driving, by the time dinner time gets here, uh, I won't want to dash for long. So I'm gonna take a break. I took yesterday off. That's what got me so ready to go this morning. I did, I did a catering order yesterday and then I took it right back to the house. I didn't do anything else. I didn't even look, well I did look, to see if they had like some unexpected peak pay popped up, but that was the only thing that was gonna get me out of the house yesterday. Like some really good peak pay, like 250 or better. So that didn't happen. So I, I worked on editing videos and chilled out. And then uh, I was ready to go this morning. So I'm gonna do the same thing now. Get this little bit of lunch time. All the people who got the first lunch, 12 o'clock, I'm here for you. Anybody else, I have to catch you at dinner time. But yeah, let's go get this pizza picked up. I uh, hope it's ready. It is, uh, the, the Papa John's that I'm going to is, it's hit or miss, you just never know. I think with one pizza though, well no, it's three items, let me see. Okay, yeah, it's one pizza and a two liter soda, so we should be good. It should be. So let's go get it picked up and um, try to get us a couple more orders for lunch. Let's get it. Robert. Better than that. 
So what I, my problem is right now, I'm trying to avoid areas close by high schools and colleges because they will uh, no tip you to death. So that's why I really, during the week, I only really like lunch shift too much because you gotta avoid too many areas. Like, I don't wanna be anywhere near a McDonald's because I just know if I get a McDonald's order, I'm going to a high school. But um, I'm gonna go back over here by this uh, Chipotle. Man, this road terrible. Four dollars, four miles. Uh, I'm gonna take this one because I like that area, and I might get a stack. I'm counting on the stack, but I'm gonna take it. I guess was talking junk about no tip orders, but just gotta know your market, man. I just, I know there's a sushi place over here. I'm still gonna be by Chipotle. Quite a few places where I can get another order before I get this one, so. That's the goal. That's the plan, that's the mind state. And it's ready. Let me ask y'all something, man, and it might just be me. Comment down below, because I, I, I just want to know how other people feel about this. Do y'all take offense when people ask you to confirm the order in front of them? It's not every place, but it's some places, the way they do it, I don't know. Uh -uh. See, I read body language. I understand that 95% of communication is nonverbal. And I can tell by the way a person looks at me if I should take offense to something that they say. But this particular place that I'm getting ready to go into, just got a, I got a stack. Sushi Love. Let me see what it looked like. $7, two miles. That's what I'm talking about not forget to accept it but yeah so like this place if the guy's in here that I'm, that I'm talking about because the last time I was in here I said I might not come back here no more because it's just kind of rude how he says it like I don't want I don't want to come off as, as something that I'm not so I'm, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here but okay I understand the confirm the order because, well, really, I don't understand it because, <laughs> to be honest with you, because I could confirm it and still keep it. Like, that really means nothing that I confirmed it in front of you. Like, but okay, let's say somebody took an order and they didn't confirm it and then they, I guess they claimed that they didn't get it. Okay, fine. That's, 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 that's one group of people. It, that could happen. But in my in my mind, the person that steals the food, they're gonna steal it anyway. Like, if somebody went into a restaurant with the intentions of stealing an order, they, you get what I'm saying? Like, they were gonna steal it anyway. Like that, that's what they went in there for. I, I can't imagine a person being like, oh, let me go get this order, pick it up, get it dropped off, and then they get there and they're like, oh no, I'm gonna keep this one. Like I just that that doesn't make sense to me. I'm not that type of person, so maybe it's not supposed to make sense to me. But my thing is, okay, you're doing that because somebody said they didn't get an order or some food got missing. Why didn't you have the person before me confirm the order? Like, how did we get here? You know, does that make sense to y'all? Do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Like, I guess what I'm saying is really is what did the person look like that stole the food that you didn't have them confirm it? And why is it that for me, you need to see me confirm it? Cause I was in here a couple of days ago and this guy was like, uh, can you confirm the order? And I did it like, I didn't like show him my phone while I was doing it, but like my phone, you could see it, but I wasn't like, here you go, sir. Like, it wasn't like that. I, I confirmed it because I'm going to deliver it. But 
my I guess my whole beef is do you pick and choose who you make confirm orders in front of you? Or is it you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That it just kind of bothers me, man, but I mean, I got no problem with confirming the order. I'm not planning on stealing anything. But it, it's not always what you say, it's how you say it. And this guy, he's kind of got a demeanor about him that just don't sit well with me. But I'm going to let y'all see it for yourselves. I'm going to go in here and get this order. They said it's ready. Watch this. There's another guy that works in here and he's not like that. He talks to me, he's cool with everything. This one guy, watch, what's this? What's going on, man? Good, good. DoorDash. I just checked your page, man. You did? Yeah. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. Well, I was checking on where you are. You are on the 54, 55 on the Taco Bell. Okay, okay. That's good, man. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, so he wasn't in there. And I don't know if y'all could catch what my man just said, but he was just watching my page. So it's gonna be kind of crazy when he see this part. But it's the truth, man. I'm not like, I'm not making it up. Like, it's, it's a guy that works in there that's just that's kind of rude. I mean, it just is what it is. And bro, I'm not a thief. I'm the last person that's gonna steal something. My mama whooped that out of me when I was about 10 years old. I had sticky fingers for about a summer. Let's go get this uh, Sushi Love picked up, get both of these dropped off, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. That's gonna be about it. It's 12.50 now, so yeah, let's hurry up and do that right now. All right, y'all, so we got it picked up. We got both orders in the car. Let's get them dropped off. My, uh, my SD card got full right at the last pickup, which is no biggie because we done almost anyway. So I'm going to do the last of this little video like this. But yeah, back to my point about the stealing of the orders, man. Uh, just, just drop a comment down below if you know what I'm saying, if you understand what I'm saying. If you don't ask, because I'll, I'll try to explain it a little bit better. I just, I just don't understand why... Um, I don't understand why we confirmed the orders, I mean, in front of them, like. I don't think it accomplishes what they think it accomplishes, is what I'm saying. If somebody has the intentions on stealing the order, I think they're gonna steal it anyway. But I could be wrong, man. Maybe it does deter people from stealing, I guess. Then I've been places where they ask you to confirm the order and they don't even watch you do it. So it's like, I don't know. But I'm off that. Let's, uh, let's get these things dropped off. We had a great shift this morning and afternoon. Lunch was a little disappointing, but it'd be like that sometime. But we definitely handled our business this morning. So it's all good. Hopefully we do the same tonight. I see they have not added any peak pay still, which is crazy. Cause it used to be peak pay in my market, like Wednesday through Sunday. For most of the dinner shift, I mean, at least something. It would be $3 on like Friday, Saturday and Sunday from five to maybe 9.30. And it would be like $2 on Wednesday and Thursday during those same times. But lately, DoorDash been stingy with that peak pay. Like it's, I have to check throughout the day because it just seems to just randomly pop up now. It's not even like predetermined. So I don't know what's going on with that. I definitely need that peak pay. I love peak pay. That's crazy how much, how big a difference a dollar or two makes. Like, 
want all the money, I guess. They don't want to share it with us. But uh, let's get this dropped off. It's two miles away. It's saying five minutes. I can't tell. I'm looking at the map. It just says Duke University. I can't tell if it's the school, the hospital, or just some house around there. But we're going to get these two dropped off. And that's going to conclude the first part of my shift for the day. Started at six this morning. We stopped to do the catering order. I stopped to eat breakfast, but, but we did pretty good, man. Appreciate y'all for riding with me. Let's just finish it up. So that's it, man. That's the end of this shift, end of this video. Oh, man, what a crazy day. Just rolled up on a domestic dispute between a homeless man and his girlfriend and his dogs and some good Samaritans that was trying to break it up. But um, anyway, that's it, man. That's the end of this shift. Like I always say, man, you could be anything in this world that you want to be. Just don't be ungrateful. And whatever it is that you decide to be, be the best at it. It's your boy, Bull City. And I will definitely catch y'all in the next one. Peace.